Hi, I'm Lisa with Unlimited Book Reviews, and today's review is for Just Sam by Christy Brown. That's the cover there. The genre that this particular book is under is fiction coming of age, and that's what it is on both .ca and .com, ranked right now at 734 on .ca and 9944 on .com, and it is kind of a book geared at 18 year olds, maybe 12 to 18 year olds is what's listed on the website. It's not in a series or anything like that, so um, that's not applicable. And the length of it is 204 pages, so a pretty full size book. The main characters in the book, we've got your heroine Sam, or Samantha, and then We've got two male love interests, Chase and Will, in no particular order, they're alphabetical. And uh, the point of view in the book is third person, totally from Sam's point of view. Now the book description, <clears throat> all Sam dreams of is being the next big tennis champion. But when she suffers a great loss at such a young age, she finds it hard to believe in herself. She becomes so scared of losing people that she hides her feelings to protect her heart. Will she ever let anyone close enough to truly love her? She never realized her toughest match would be against life itself. So there is good character development in this book. And this is where we get closer to spoiler alerts, so heads up. But basically, when a young tennis playing girl struggles to deal with growing up after losing a parent, she learns the world may not have chosen her as the exclusive recipient of tragedy, because she meets other people that have had bad things happen to. Changing schools and homes to adapt to a single parent income, she realizes she can make new friends and life goes on, just differently, despite her sad past. She also has to come to terms with her hesitant feelings for boys and accept the fear that life has no guarantees, but letting fear hold you back in relationships is not the answer. So it is, um, a lot of the book is centered, that has some back stuff, but it's right around her 16th birthday. So the story is definitely original, maybe a little bit of suspense, a little bit of humor, Drama or conflict, yes. I mean, it's very sad in parts. Definitely made me cry. No great big mystery in it or anything like that. And um, lots of emotional action, but I don't know necessarily any major physical act action. So it's considered a coming of age um, genre. So the tragedy happens right off the hop at the beginning of the book and she starts having transitions in her life right around 7%. And then a pivotal turning point happens right around 61% in the book where she kind of accepts things as they are and some big decisions happen right at the end of the book. So it was nice. No weirdness or darkness, happily ever after, pretty much. Yeah. And the writing was done by Christy Brown in a very easy to read, written in third person book style. There were a few little typos, but nothing major, no major inconsistencies. Um, you aren't left hanging at the end. There's no sequel that we're pending. Uh, looks like Christy right now has about six books out, but this looks like the only one right now that is in Kindle Unlimited. Did I like it? Yeah, it was definitely a very good book. So, um, Quotes highlighted by the readers? There weren't any, so I picked some of my favorites. Sam, life sometimes throws us some crappy balls, but it's whether you return them with strength or let the ball hit you in the face that's what really counts. Mr. Toddley. For a moment, I thought they might cock their legs up and pee on me, marking their territory forever. That was Sam. Never heard that one before. That's a good one. Then it dawned on me I needed a distraction to distract me from my distraction. Haven't heard that in a while. 
And then the reviews, there's only two right now, two reviews on Amazon.com. So um, one was four star and one was five star. So 4.4 rating out of five. But Just Sam is a story of a girl with great talent who reevaluates everything. I left out a few things that they said in their reviews. She's afraid of love and more loss, but for pretty 16-year-olds, it's impossible to avoid the former, and the latter isn't something one can control. Allowing It allows her to repair not only her own relationships and misunderstandings, but to help others achieve what they want through example. A sweet story of second chances for love, friendship, and life ambitions. That was V. Burris. And then I Heart Books heading says, Tennis as a Metaphor of Life. So it was really good. You definitely would like it if you like these kind of drama, coming of age type of stories. It was sad, but, you know, nice to see her move forward and make big decisions for herself and grow up. And that's what it really was all about. So good teen book. Definitely check it out. It's on Kindle Unlimited. Um, click subscribe, please, and like my video here. And thanks so much for stopping by.